Today I will be sharing some of the teachings of Surah Al-Balad. This surah was revealed in Makkah. This surah discusses the nature of human existence, expresses the ideas of struggles, hardships and obstacles which a human faces in his life. The ingratitude of the human when he is blessed with blessings of Allah, the arrogance of human mankind when he is afforded with the blessings of Allah and finally in the end this surah explains how human can ascend from the difficult path towards the success. The surah starts by taking two oaths. The first oath is the city of Makkah itself which is the site of Kaaba and the residing place of our beloved Prophet Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The second oath is taken on parent and the offspring. Here it may refer to Prophet Ibrahim and his son Hazrat Ismail, peace be upon them. Or according to my understanding, it may also refer to how we will be taking care of our parents once they reach the elderly stages of their life. The fourth verse speaks of how human mankind has passed through difficult times, obstacles, hardships and struggles in his life. Actually, the life itself is designed to test uh, the human mankind. The test and the trials not necessarily they have to come from hardship, struggles, difficulties and obstacles. Allah can also test us through blessings, wealth, money and power. The next few verses explain how a person becomes arrogant when he is blessed with money, power, wealth. Actually, he refuses to accept the fact that Allah Almighty has granted these blessings and he should be thankful to Allah for these blessings and should not misuse them. Further, the blessings like lips, tongue, eyes. Here it refers to listening skills, speaking skills, observing and inference means conclusion. What do we conclude from our life? How we should be concluding from our life? One of the blessings which Allah Almighty has given us is the free will. The responsibility to choose the free will means we can choose what we need to be in our faith by following the right path, being virtuous and be righteous. Responsibility to follow the right path means that actual destination of our life is not here but it's actually hereafter. Then by giving free will, Allah guides us how to follow the how to pass through the difficult path towards the success. The advice given by Allah Almighty is that free the slaves, feed the orphans, feed the poor in famine. Here feeding the poor in famine means during scarcity our strength of the faith will be tested. Allah at the end of this surah makes it clear whoever rejects his advice or the relevation on the whole will be residing in hellfire. Allah wants us to engage with the community, whether Muslims or non-Muslims, and have a positive impact on their life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all and guide us all to follow the teachings of Surah Al-Balad. Thank you from my side.